balloon dilatation of the sphenoid sinus begins with passage of a guide catheter, in this case a zero degree catheter, with a guide wire with an illuminated tip passed through the center of the catheter. This device is advanced into the sphenoethmoid recess, and the illuminated guide wire is advanced into the region of the sphenoid ostium. The fact that the guide wire enters the sphenoid sinus can be verified by turning off the endoscope light, but leaving on the light which illuminates the guide wire tip. So we see transillumination of the sphenoid sinus, particularly those tissues in the region of the sphenoid ostium. Next, a balloon catheter is threaded over the guide wire and advanced so that the balloon itself straddles the sphenoid ostium. The balloon is inflated with saline. In this case, the balloon measures 5 millimeters in diameter and 16 millimeters in length. It's inflated to 8 atmospheres of pressure and then deflated. The entire apparatus is then withdrawn from the nasal cavity. And we could advance the endoscope to see the nicely dilated sphenoid ostium as well as the interior of the sphenoid sinus.